Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Kristen Button. And welcome to Kavira's This Week. And hey, we got a special mm -hmm. makeup treat going yeah. on here. This is, oh, we got, we're here at the Rowan Kavira's Community College Cosmetology Clinic. Mm -hmm. Kristen's going to tell you all about the exciting things that are going on here. And we got a lot of other information on today's show, so grab that pen and paper so you can write that contact info down. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address at the end of the show. Today, CTW is taking a look at the makeover of Rowan Cabarrus Community College's Cosmetology Club. After outgrowing the old space at Cloverleaf Plaza, the clinic renovated and relocated to downtown Kannapolis at the West Avenue Center. The new location, previously a belt store and a towel store, provides 28,000 square feet for the new facility to continue graduating sought after and professionally trained cosmetologists. The cosmetology clinic offers students a tech savvy classroom environment as well as a hands on practical approach to cosmetology, manicuring, and aesthetic services. The college's cosmetology program is one of the largest and most successful in the state with a pass rate of 99% on state board exams. It offers associate degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Beyond cosmetology, students learn about small business management so they can manage their salon when they, when they graduate. The cosmetology program also offers a great benefit to the community. To help student stylists gain hours towards their state board licensing, you can get high-end services at a fraction of the cost. Clients can book manicures, facials, haircuts, shampoos, and blow-dry sessions. The Cosmetology Center is open for clients Tuesday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. and again Tuesday through Thursday from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. In addition to cosmetology, Rowan Cabarrus offers several classes to help you navigate your future. Spring registration is open now to help you pursue careers like fire protection, criminal justice, machining, web technologies, welding, and more. Classes begin January 11th. For more information on the Rowan Cabarrus Cosmetology Clinic, visit rccc.edu slash cos or call 704-792-9788. Now see, Chris, and I feel right at home because my whole family was in cosmetology. I had two great aunts, my mom, my uncle. All That's kinds why of you have such great hair. Is that, what, is that what this is? Yeah. Yeah, because they, otherwise they'd be all upset, right? <laughs> okay. Now, Santa is a, making a final stop at Frank List Park on December the 19th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for Santa's workshop. Now, kids of all ages are invited to create a kind of a custom gift just in time for Christmas. You know. Nice. Yeah, festive spirits are going to fill the air with an indoor snowball fight. I can't, I'd, I'd like to do that. Okay, s'mores <laughs> roasting pit snowflake crafts and of course you've got photos with old saint nick now the cost is only five dollars per child and registration is required so for more information on the santa's workshop on saturday december the 19th 10 a.m to 2 p.m at franklin's park just visit cabarrascounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484 i bet a lot of last minute parents will be bringing those the kids to that oh it's a great to make a gift for somebody how how great yeah and they hit somebody with a snowball hey. <laughs> indoors <laughs> indoors that'll really. be fun how many legends do you know hmm. especially in the area i think yeah. this one might be a legend no. <laughs> we'll see concord native michael yuri has compiled his list into 148 local personalities past and present Legendary Locals of Cabarrus County features educators, philanthropists, leaders, and even some infamous Concordians. Mm. Come see who made the list Saturday, December 12th at the Concord Branch of the Library. Mr. Yuri will discuss his new book and then participate in a book signing and sale. This is a great place to meet the author and many of the personalities featured in this homegrown publication. Mm -hmm. For more information on Legendary Locals of Cabarrus County, December 12th from 2 to 3 p.m. at the Concord Branch of the Library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash onctw or call 704-920-2050. Hey, it's a great book. I got a sneak peek at it. It was like... Are you it, in it? I No, I'm not in it. Not this year? <laughs> no, the infamous part I was really getting <laughs> nervous about. But anyway, no, I'm not in it. Okay. Now, the holiday party of the year is almost here. Cabarrus County Senior Centers invite you to Winter Wonderland. That's going to be on Tuesday, December the 8th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Cabarrus Events in the Center. Okay? The every guest features a, get a goodie bag, okay, Christmas prizes, and the entertainment that lasts all day. So you grab your friends, head on out to the social event of the year, and you know, it's all free. How about that? We love free. We love free. 
For more information on Winter Wonderland Seniors Christmas Party, December 8th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, simply call 704-920-3484. Do you want to be a voice for the people? Take the next step and run for office. Mm. I can see your name on a button. I did that once. Once. We won't go into that. <laughs> Candidate filing for the March primary is open through noon, December 21st. You can file at Cabarrus County Board of Elections, 369 Church Street North. For open seats, candidate requirements, and filing fees, visit cabarruscounty.us. And if elected office is not quite up your alley, we also need pre precinct officials. These officials are paid to work the polls on election day, and they're also paid for their training days. Just a friendly reminder, as of January 2016, photo IDs are going to be required for you to vote. For more information on candidate filing or precinct officials for the 2016 primary, visit CabarrasCounty.us or call 704-920-2862. I tell you, if you're you know, motivated to run for office, it really is an amazing experience and, and you can institute change whether you win or not. I mean, it's, it's great. Now, we've all done it. Now, in our busy lives, sometimes we've forgotten to return something on time, like at the library, uh, and re re kind of received a late penalty. Well, turn that forgetfulness fine into something positive. Now, the Cabarrus County Public Libraries are once again participating in Food for Fines. Now, through December the 12th, library patrons with overdue fines can bring a canned or packaged non-perishable food item that's not expired, okay? <laughs> And to any branch of the Cabarrus County Library System, receive $2 per unit credit toward their overdue fines. Now, the program doesn't apply to fees for lost or damaged books, but the library distributes the food donations to local food pantries, so you help folks out. So for more information on the Food for Fines program taking place at all branches of the library through December the 12th, call 704-920-2050. One of my favorite holiday pu publications is celebrating its 30th anniversary. Mm. And the libraries are celebrating with games and crafts. Polar Express has captured the spirit of Christmas and made every boy and girl wish for that magic bell at one point in their life. Come celebrate this literary classic at the Harrisburg Branch, December 9th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. The Kannapolis Branch, December 12th, 10 a.m. to noon. And finally, the Concord Branch, December 21st from 3 to 5 p.m. For more information on Polar Express Christmas parties taking place at all the branches of the library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2050. Ah, great book. That's a great I love book. that book. Now, we are forever students of life. And hey, we gotta eat, right? We gotta eat. Okay, the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord hosts Lunch and Learns every Wednesday at noon. In addition to nourishing your body, they also kind of nourish, you know, kind of with pre-selected topics that will help you out. Topics range from self-help to everyday life topics. The next Lunch and Learn takes place on December the 16th. Oh, this is, I like this. You enjoy fried chicken and all the fixings. <laughs> and then we'll go on a diet. Okay, and enjoy a program on friendship. Now the cost is only $5 and reservations should always be made by 3 p.m. on the Friday before the event. So, for December 16th Lunch and Learn, please reserve your spot by December the 11th, 3 p.m. For more information or to make your reservation for the Lunch and Learn December 16th at noon at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, simply visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-3484. And now today we're in downtown Kannapolis mm -hmm. and if you've been to downtown Kannapolis lately, you've noticed a rather big construction project mm, yes. happening right down the road in the Center of Research Campus at 401 Laureate Way. The Kannapolis City Hall and Police Headquarters is on the final stretch to completion. So join the City of Kannapolis for a dedication ceremony and tour the new building Monday, December 14th. The ceremony begins at 4 p.m. and tours are offered before the ceremony from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. and after the ceremony is over. For more information on the dedication of Kannapolis City Hall and Police Headquarters, December 14th at 4 p.m., visit kannapolisnc.gov or call 704-920-4311. Now, you want to be a star on the Davis Theater stage? Yeah. There you go. See, look, I, Chris, <laughs> you'd be perfect. Okay, now the listening room at the Davis is the Cabarrus Arts Council version, kind of an open mic night. And it Ooh. takes place the second Thursday of every month from 7.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. And one way the listening room kind of differs from many other open mic nights, because I've been to a few that <laughs> made my ears bleed. But anyway, 
is that acts are chosen in advance for quality and variety. That's why I would not be No, you would, you would, no, you would unless work. it's dance. Yeah, that's maybe right. I can, maybe, maybe. Hey, there you go, see? Now the acts don't have to be music. See, right there, they're on the okay, script. There you go. Okay, applications from actors, poets, and comedians are also accepted. I'm comedians. sure dancers. I'm comedians. Sure, yeah, right. Yeah. You got this. I'm just funny when I walk on the stage. <laughs> for more information or to apply to perform for the listing room, December the 10th from 7.30 to 9 p.m., Email your information to listenroom at yahoo.com or call 704-920-2787. How awesome is it to get out of school for three weeks of the holidays? Oh, that'd be nice. Nice. <laughs> Guess what? We still have to work, oh, and most yeah, adults okay, do. Well, so well. what do you do with kids? Yeah. You sign them up for a new exciting winter camp at Harrisburg Parks and Rec. Engineering for Kids has segments for ages 4 to 14. The camps run December 21st through the 30th and offer full and half-day programming. Junior engineers explore mechanical, civil, aerospace, and other cool engineering areas with interactive, hands-on experience. Sounds great. It does sound fun. For more information on Engineering for Kids Winter Camp, Harrisburg Parks and Rec, visit harrisburgnc.org or call 704-455-7275. Now, the upbeat music of the Concord Opry Jam is returning to Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord on Wednesday, December the 9th, and on the 16th. That happens from 6 to 9 p.m. Now, the Concord Opry Jam, we've never been there, has a really relaxed atmosphere. The evening always opens and closes with a gospel piece, and there's many other genres of music showcased in between. Now, many of the attendees, they'll play a variety of bluegrass, soul, and country. The ongoing event provides a great midweek activity for older adults as soon as it's also a place just to kind of soak up, you know, all this fun and great music, have fun and also socialize. We were there uh, a while back, and it, it is great. It's I mean, packed. it is, yeah. and it all is packed. Yes, yeah. a lot of fun. No sign-ups necessary, whether you're a musician or an audience member. All you need to do is show up and have a good time. Easy well, enough. There you go. For more information on the Concord Opry Jam on December 9th and 16th, from 6 to 9 p.m., the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord. Visit CabarrasCounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-3484. It's Mount Pleasant's turn for the Christmas Parade Fun. Join the town of Mount Pleasant Saturday, December 12th at 11 a.m. for an afternoon of festive floats and spirited bands. Don't forget to head over to the Eastern Cabarrus Historic Society Museum afterwards for the Christmas Open House. Really nice. Yes, we were there last week yes. and, and it's beautiful. For more information on Mount Pleasant's Christmas Parade, December 12th at 11 a.m. in downtown Mount Pleasant, visit townofmountpleasantnc.org or call 704-436-9803. Now, the parade fun continues on Saturday, December mm -hmm. the 12th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Come on down here to Kannapolis with the Kannapolis Christmas Parade. Now, I know last week we told you there was going to be a new route. Mm -hmm. Now, due to construction issues, that's not going to happen. It's going to be back on the old route, which proceeds down Main Street and ends on West Avenue, which is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, now, so get there early for your best seats. For more information on Kannapolis Christmas Parade on December 12th from 6 to 7.30 p.m., visit CabarrasEvents.org or call 704-932-3808. I hear that we'll be there. We right? will be there. So yep. say hi, and Channel we, 22. Yeah, and you can come out there and you can watch us. On TV? Yeah. Oh, okay, that sounds good. Again. I, again and again. <laughs> there you go. Now, I know we've had a lot of information on today's show. So, you know, if you missed any of the contact information, all you got to do is go to cabarrascounty.us and uh, right there in the search box, put in your topic, find your information. We also want you to sign up for our e-newsletter, which comes to you every Thursday afternoon. Just go to cabarrascounty.us and at the top right hand of the screen, click sign up for newsletter and it'll come straight to you. And you also have... Facebook. Yes, thank you to all of our Facebook fans and Twitter followers. Um, we will not inundate your timelines, but give you accurate mm. information on all things Capco. Absolutely. And if you have family or friends that don't uh, have time or cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, well, or maybe you just want to watch us when you get a chance. Got an easy way to do that. <laughs> Go to cabarrascounty.us slash Cabco TV. Right there, up comes our media page, all our different shows. The parades, of course, are on there. Right now, we've got uh, new, all kinds of new shows, new out and abouts coming up real soon. A new historical moments is coming. And of course, Cabarrus this week. And I tell you what, like I said, I kind of feel right at home here because I had so many family members in the cosmetology yeah. field. And um, 
I mean, and this is a great, it's a great opportunity for people to learn and also for the community. I yes. mean, especially here in the holiday season, everybody wants to get looking their best. Great place to Manicures show up. Manicures and pedicures. Their pedicure room is is on point. Yeah, absolutely. Need to come. <laughs> and until next week, you have a great one. Have a good week.